nearly 1100 litres per minute worth of fuel. Used to better play nice together, okay? You better play nice. So we just need to bolt this into the car, just made in six screws, I printed it quite quick, I didn't do the best quality you could get in it basically, so let's see if it fits, hopefully it should, yeah. nice, sorted, quite a chunky unit that's for sure. Yo, so today in this episode of Baytech Video Diaries, uh, we're going to be finishing off the fuel system, we're going to be drilling two more holes in here for the other pump. These are the nylon things I use as insulators, just nylon washers. They work fine. Um, and then we need to do the piping up into this gadget over here, and uh, yeah, make sure everything's secure, and we need to finish off the PWM module wiring to the pumps and then we need to test the hoover. So in you go, so we're now on revision 3, we've got both fuel pumps tightened up, feeding onto this wide piece which flies around here, rounded up into there, so that's going to work, it's now tied down as well, uh, pumps are facing the right direction with the fuel going back towards the, the ditch here, you can see all bits of like, I think it's like water, it's very strange stuff, it's not like sand, it's like watery Dirty water from like ethanol and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm not going to bother cleaning that out. That's what fuel filters are for. <laughs> no, but this way as well, I've tied that out of the way, and then my fuel level sender will still work. Um, that's that in there. And yeah, so that's going to work a treat. Right, first test of fan controllers. Ignore the wiring, so I just got to watch and hopefully a fuel pressure goes up. So increase the duty. No. Oh yeah. Getting some fuel pressure there. So let's Increase the speed. And some more fuel pressure. <laughs> Look at that. So I noticed there, it wasn't pulling a lot of current, um, and the return wasn't really flowing anything, which has got me kind of confused. And if you've seen the pressure here, the pressure didn't raise up much. Right, so now, not pulling much current, but I've got my fuel pressure base, so. Which is much higher now. And that's where one of the pumps disconnected, so I think I might have the polarity lot wrong on one of them. So I've disconnected the other pump now, so we're just running on the Bosch BR540. And let's start this up. And we have no fuel pressure. So 34% duty, one click. That's the one, 513, 14 amps for both the pumps, and we'll just increase this G. So, 30, 40, 50% G just now. Things happening so far. Better turn the pressure back in there. So. 
even that small run there has kicked the shit out of this battery so I've got to run up to another battery yeah, just earthing through a seat bolt there so what we'll do is we'll give it some time to charge how cool does that sound? What we'll go for is a 100% run which will be a bit hard on the reg because it's got two pumps shoving fuel in it and it's probably going to start chattering but we'll see what it does, full, full pressure Hear that little reg? It can't keep up. It's 35 amps. At 500 kPa. We're gonna have to bump up that fuel reg, aren't we? To really put it through its paces. Right, this is when shit gets sketchy. We're gonna put the pump on. We're gonna bump up the fuel pressure to 700 kPa with the reg and uh, yeah we'll see what sort of current it's drawn so just now it's obviously zero so let's uh, we'll put it to 50% duty first and I'm just going to turn this up here she's already chattering Odd KPA there. 20 amps. So let's just raise this up. Right, so this is going to get sketchy. I'm away to go and drop key so it goes to 95% duty, uh, and then we're going to see what the fuel pressure goes to with these pumps. I'm standing out the fucking car. <laughs> I do not want to be in it to see what this starts pulling. Uh, we'll see what current it pulls. So here we go. Seven fifty, so about hundred psi. She's chattering. Thirty-eight amps. There's a lot of turbulence in there. That's for sure. I'm gonna leave it like this for a few minutes, <laughs> which is a real hardcore test, just to see if these can handle it, but I think they might. 11.4 volts, so we're dropping in voltage. Struggling to keep up. Oh, is there a blip there, or was that my head? Well, they're happy. 37 amps. Nothing hot yet. Fucking right. That's what you want. Two pumps running. Hundred percent duty. Thirty seven amps. And that's 740 kPa, seven, nearly seven and a half bar of fuel pressure. <laughs> it is not on fire, yes. So next test, how long it takes to jump up to 95%. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so four seconds. I reckon that could be okay. Hear that oscillations? It's 
with these guys just cruising along there. Drop this back down. So both pumps running. Uh, we are down at 11 amps and that would be idle. It might actually be less than the car started because we'll have higher voltage then. So even though both pumps are running, it's still pulling less power than it would when it was just the one pump running on full uh, full power. Um, so that's that's taking a lot of stress off the system.